Legends, it's Hato here from the Real Australian Dream, and today I'm giving you guys a review on the Point Quabba Blowhole Campground, mate. Check this out behind me, she's about to erupt. I am absolutely saturated trying to film this intro, but mate, it is something that you've got to see to believe. The sound of it, the velocity, it's just absolutely amazing. Something I've never ever seen before, and mate, something I'll never forget. Wow, check that out. How bloody epic is that? Mate, this place is off its head, absolutely loving it. We're at the Quabba Blowholes here, and mate, that is something in itself you've got to see to believe. Let's go have a look at this joint, eh? Right? How bloody good is this? There's a heavy load above my back. No way to throw it off. For a second, I believe it's gone. I'm just a fool out of love. Standing on the open road. Dream Team, Hato here with another review. Hope you guys are loving life. And today we are at Point Quabba Blowholes Campground. I've got the leader expedition on the back. And mate, let me tell you, this place is certainly one of the most unique, <laughs> unique spots I've ever been in the sense that it is quite unusual with a quite a like a weird vibe about it. But anyway, let's get into the details. $11 per night per person to stay here. It's first in, best dress. Come in, find a spot, and then pay online. Uh, and the ranger will come around, or the caretaker will come around and check that. In terms of in terms of value, mate, we've just spent the last three months on the most amazing beach camps for eight bucks per night. Uh, I don't think this is as good as those. Um, so you know, so take that for what you will. But 11 bucks per night, still pretty, um, still pretty cheap. Um, so it's costing us just over 20 bucks to uh, to stay here. No power, no water, no facilities. There is a dump point at the front entrance. There is garbage bins at the front entrance, but that is it. So leave no trace. Um, fires are permitted um, as well. Dogs are allowed as well. As you can see, our two pooches in the background. And uh, in terms of access. It's pretty well good. Carnarvon, you're about 60 k's out of Carnarvon, which is a small town, uh, which has everything you need in terms of services. Um, Woolworths and fuel and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's about 60 k's out and you've, uh, you're pretty much tarmac all the way here. So there's only about, oh, I don't know, maybe a k if that of dirt to uh, to get to this campground itself. So that's really, really good if you don't like um, taking a van off uh, off road. But certainly no need, certainly no need for a four wheel drive to get um, to get this place itself. Now, the most unique thing about this place is that there are these like, it all, you'd almost forgive yourself for thinking they were abandoned. They're like abandoned shacks uh, littered around the campground. I'll show you a few of them, but mate, it's quite like a bit of an eerie feeling because they look like, they look abandoned, um, you know, set to be demolished sort of thing. And But apparently the locals, um, they use them, they rent them out for like little fishing shacks. And uh, yeah, it's quite a, um, Quite a unique sort of, uh, you know, unique spot, spot to explore. As you can see, we're pulled up here, and you can see one of these, uh, one of these shacks behind us. But uh, certainly a, a unique spot. Apparently, the fishing here is meant to be unreal, um, and we're going to go check out today a place they call the Aquarium. Are supposedly meant to be some of the most amazing snorkeling, really protected, really safe. So I'm gonna go have a bit of a gaze at that and show you guys around there as well. And then of course, you saw it at the start of the video, the quabba blowholes, mate. That is something else. Like, I thought at the start, like how spectacular can water coming up from a rock be? Um, but mate, the sound, the energy, the ferociousness of that is unbelievable and something you gotta see. And then of course, you've got the King Waves kill sign. Did you even come to Quabba if you didn't get a photo with that sign? So we're gonna go there, check that big sign out and uh, and have a bit of a geese at that as well. But we'll show you around this place as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow our socials, The Real Australian Dream. Hope you guys are loving these reviews and uh, we'll go have a bit of a look around. Enjoy. So guys, this is the shack that we're camped beside. Uh, this is actually probably one of the better ones in terms of its condition, but you can still see that uh, you know, it looks like an abandoned shed, so to speak. Um, and mate, apparently, yeah, these are still well and truly used and uh, people come out here on their fishing, fishing bloody adventures. So it makes for a bit of an eerie, um, you know, a bit of an eerie view or eerie look, because they do look, <laughs> look at that skull behind me, they do look a little bit, uh, a little bit strange, but mate, 
It's all part of the adventure at Quabba, isn't it? When you're coming to Quabba, make sure you duck on down to what they call the aquarium. It's just at the entrance of the uh, of the of the campground car park, and mate, you've essentially got a little lagoon type uh, scenario happening here with a heap of coral and reef just off the beach as well, with some absolute epic marine life, or so I've been told. So we're gonna go check it out now, have a bit of a snorkel, have a dip, and what I love about it too is it's very very. Uh, very, very still and calm and not too deep. So the trick is, I've been told, is that you've got to snorkel on high tide. Uh, so make sure you check the tides before you come, uh, or as close to high tide as you can, so you can put a bit of uh, a bit of space between yourself and the reef. With my big gut, I don't know how we're gonna go, but anyway, we'll have a crack and uh, see what we see under the surface, eh? What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song Two hours a day Five months and a year Oh, I loved you too long Mate, the aquarium at Quabba Blowholes Campground is pretty bloody amazing. Now, you look at this shelf behind me, like a rock shelf, and at the base of it, I'm sitting at about half a metre of the water now, but it drops off, drops off to about two and a half, three metres of water, and it's absolutely epic snorkeling. Really, really phenomenal. And uh, I think it's severely underrated, you know? We've never heard many people talk about it. Looked it up, saw it on Wikicamp, and it is absolutely fantastic. Team, well, we have come up to what I am calling the Quabba Blowhole Lighthouse Lookout, whatever that is, whatever, whatever that means. But mate, she's an epic vantage point uh, to watch uh, the sunset from this place. Only a couple minutes from the campground, and, uh, and it's very, very easy to get to. So we're gonna put the drone up, have, have a bit of a geese around here, but you can see the steam coming from the blowholes in the distance over the sunset. It doesn't get much better than that. We've cooked up dinner, and we're having a feed here. The last bloody pretty good. So that also rounds off the end of the review. So if you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow our journey, the real Australian dream on our socials. It's been a bloody epic time here at Quabba, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Travel safe and keep doing whatever it is that makes you happy, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.